I teach these two concepts. I say drastically decrease instant gratification. And those are the, like the feel good, pleasurable things that we want to do right now, but they usually make our life worse in the long run. People don't usually want to accept that bit. So, you know, every, everyone's got a vice that they think is absolutely fine. Life does get a little bit worse every single time because, you know, if you went the extreme route, then your life is like destroyed if you become like a full on video game addict. Could you summarize the, the main messages or the, the main, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? You have your cult, you have your message. How would you summarize that? Like what are the main things? Obviously no porn, no fapping or a little bit of fapping once a week, fat. <laughs> <laughs> so what I say, how I summarize it is I teach these two concepts, I say drastically decrease instant gratification. And those are the like the feel good, pleasurable things that we want to do right now, but they usually make our life worse in the long run. People don't usually want to accept that bit. So, you know, every, everyone's got a vice that they think is absolutely fine. Life does get a little bit worse every single time because, you know, if you went the extreme route, then your life is like destroyed if you become like a full on video game addict. So you drastically reduce those like bad habits. And then at the same time, you drastically increase the delayed gratification activities. And those are the ones which are very like uncomfortable and challenging and hard and difficult right now so and but they make your life work better in the long term when you do instant gratification what you're doing is just stealing happiness from your future self like when you watch porn today you're literally taking happiness and pleasure from your future self when you play video games you're doing the same thing and like it's, this has been like you know i'm not a scientist but this has been like scientifically proven like yeah. you do ruin your brain when you do these things how could you not have this like sense of depression and even suicidal thoughts when you just think of how much happiness your younger self just stole from you easiest quickest fix to sort yourself out if you're feeling depressed is to go and do some hard exercise just doing i don't know half an hour 45 minutes hard exercise maybe even just like some hit training because for me whenever i do whenever i do the activity which i enjoy doing the least whenever i have some of my friends come and they get me doing some crossfit circuit or something crazy are you uh are you friends with sneeko a little bit. I wouldn't say close was, friends, but yeah. Was it was a little bit of beef? Yeah, there was. What? How did that come about? He called me gay. <laughs> he saw a video of me stretching where I was showing like a workout routine or like day in the life or something. Mm -hmm. He started like shouting, saying that I was gay, saying that like you don't need self improvement, that this is a bad advice, that you, like he doesn't need self improvement, that um, just like a, a bunch of condescending stuff. Mm -hmm. He was just kind of towards me. He was just kind of being like, you know, like just joking around, calling me gay and stuff. But then he, I think he went a little bit too far with like, he started criticizing like my, my followers and saying like, you know, they're weird for needing this stuff. He's past this phase. It's just bad. It's not even good for you or anything. What's your uh, routine like at the moment then for staying in shape, looking good? Uh, so I've just, I'm switching over to way more about martial arts and fighting. So I'm still training in the gym, but maybe like three times a week now, just trying to do maintenance volume. Wake up at 6.30, go for a run, come back, protein, everything, and go for like maybe... Right now, it's a bit all over the place because I'm just recently switched over to prioritize fighting. But recently, it's more like just three times full body, just maintenance volume. Maybe I'll, I'll miss meditation. I'll, um, I'll eat some junk food every now and then. But I'd say probably for me, like my my one thing that I do the most that I tell my boys not is probably like junk food. Like I, I like like a treat every now and then. If me yeah. and my girl go to like a cafe or something, like I want to get like a little croissant or something. I think the thing which I'm most annoyed at with my behavior and habits, social media is one of them. I even have a time limit on Instagram for how much time I spend on it. It's like you've been on for one hour. I go through periods of time where I'm like, this is ridiculous, I need to fix this. And then I just completely forget about it. And it the the way they suck you in, they get you yeah. every single time. So I am literally contemplating deleting the apps on my main phone. Meditation really helps with this. I think that's the best benefit. It's like, you know, so for maybe on average, it's like half an hour passes by until you realize, oh, I'm missing, I'm wasting time and you get off. With meditation, like you just become way more conscious and aware. So when I started meditating, like I was doing it quite quite extreme, like 60 minutes a day. But honestly, it got to the point where like I wouldn't even accidentally click on it anymore. Everything I did became with intention and purpose. So if there was a time that I clicked on it, you know, to post something or something, I'd, I'd literally posted it and went off. Mm. But as I've like, you know, it's times where I've not meditated as much, I find myself more prone to these things. like. You, you probably know, like, you know, with social media and everything, what they're trying to take from you is attention. Yeah. And meditation is literally the, the, the skill of harnessing your attention for yourself. That's why, like, I preach it. If you have the the ability to control your attention and just, you know, really choose, okay, how long do I want to be on Instagram right now? Like, I, I'm on it, like, I've got a new account. Literally, maybe 
two, three minutes a day now. Mm -hmm. Tate says this. He said like he does everything with purpose, with consciousness. I don't think he's like a master meditator or anything. But when he said it, I was like, oh yeah, like that really sounds like what a high level of meditation yeah. does to you. You ever meditated? Do you know what? I think that is the answer to a lot of my problems. I think, especially this year, I'm trying to take on a little bit more. My my ultimate dream is to go to bed, lie down, ow. That's what I want. Mm. Very rarely happens. Yeah. Even I have this, I'm like, I'm trying to... Is that whoop? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll admit, my pre... Even though I know the things which I need to do before bed to enhance and seduce myself into having a good night's sleep, I'm not... Uh, that regularly I'm not doing those things I hear that exact sentence all the time mm. and that's why I tell guys like just meditate like literally this is it's just an attention problem it's nothing else you're an extremely disciplined hard-working guy so we know you've got the capability for it it's just that like using you know modern technologies has deteriorated some of your attention mm. because most likely unless you're maybe you're drinking caffeine really late or something but most likely there's no physical issue for you to fall asleep if you're able to control your attention like I like not to boast but I can like I, I can fall asleep in 10 minutes every single night no problem at all I have like deeper sleep problems later on in the night REM sleep's a bit fucked from like trauma and everything but like my sleep habits and falling asleep absolutely perfect just because of honestly the meditation and then you know like some good habits before bedtime not like um, using caffeine not really going on your phone mm.